So you're pretty much doing what pretty pretty much everyone wants to do it, it with the barman. They just keep it at it, its core classic. <laughs> Time to upgrade. The Hudson moves out of its old office. We love their old place, but we've been growing faster than Michael Moore at a pig eating contest. So it's time to pack up and ship out to our new office. How do you feel about packing up and moving to the new one? Yeah, I'm gonna miss this place. <laughs> <You're> but, gonna... <laughs> I don't like packing up. <laughs> well, the other one's gonna have more space, right? Yeah, but like, I like privacy. So the new cubes, you can see who you're next to. Like, you can look over. It's oh. gonna be like right this way. Oh, so wow. I'm gonna miss this because I can be slacking off. And I fall asleep sometimes, so I hear you. It's exactly what I do all the time. <laughs> You're not picking your nose there, are you, Steve? Where's this going? This might go online. Do you think... Let's ask a good question. As a young person, do you think people are going to go online and be like, let's watch people pack? Pack? I'm going to tell you the truth. No oh. way. You need to bring some like stars in the jury, you know? Maybe, hey, but maybe a star might drop in. You know? Maybe Pete Diddy will be here helping you pack. I don't know. He's How do you feel about the move back. to a new office? Um, It's good because we have more room. It's bad because it takes way longer. But... It's further away, right? All right, thanks for the website. You're welcome. No, you're not packing. I'm not going to put the people packing. Nobody packed. What are you kidding me? I've got nothing to pack. Look how small my office is. <laughs> well, we can have a. Uh, it's like cube. I pack up every day in my backpack when I go home. <laughs> Just in case I don't have a job tomorrow. Dan unfortunately doesn't have you know a cubicle right now. But the new office you were. Right? The new office will finally have my office. You have a huge office. Oh, it's giant, man. It's on the second floor. It's got a balcony. It's it runs over the water. Yeah. Well, it's got steps going down to the top. Really? <laughs> I was gonna say, wow. Who yeah. picked you out? Holy moly, that's some pretty crazy unpacking right there. I don't think I can make it across, guys. You can do it. Go for it, Master John. Only professional should have done this. This is going to be a fish to clean out on Monday. making Bonk's return for mobile. A fantastic game and a great way for this character to come back into the lives of uh, so many gamers. The concept was to just bring back Bonk to cell phones. And it was going to be a remake of the very first original Bonk game, a retelling, if you will, on the mobile platform. Taking some of the story elements, the level design, all that sort of stuff, and optimizing it for gameplay on a cell phone. As we went through development, um, around E3 time, we actually realized that there's a lot of great opportunity to really blow this character out and really bring him back in a big way. And uh, I think what you see as a result of it is a game that is much more in line to what Bonk is expected to be, which is a triple-A title. It's definitely paving the way for a lot of interesting things that we're doing with the character. We haven't seen it in many years, um, practically since the Turbo Graphics days, a good 10 years or so. We'll get you a chance to talk with the producer, the lead designer, the QA guy, as we talk about, you know, what brought about this return for Bong, um, the new direction, the design, um, and also give you guys, you know, an inside look of what actually goes into making a mobile game. Uh, this is an inside look at the making of the mobile game. Hope you guys enjoy it. Check it out. 
So we went back. We're like, let's make instead of just、uh, you know a small splash in the, in the mobile game industry with Bonk, let's try to make a big one. So let's make this thing the best looking, best playing, and the funnest platform game on the mobile this year. And、uh, so with that in mind, you know, we went through and pretty much if you look at Bonk's now and you look at、uh, right right when the game comes up and you see a game screen, most people's reaction. That they've seen it for the first time is wow, <laughs> and、uh, that's that's a mobile game, you know. So that's the kind of reaction that we were looking for. Wow, looking at cell phone games and looking at say like the Super Nintendo, there's no reason why the cell phone games can't look like some of the best Super Nintendo games. So that was really my aim was to make Bunk look like it's on the Super Nintendo. Uh, even though some of the well, the characters and the cast, you know, you've got Bonk, you've got Princess Saw, and you've got the Evil King Drool,、uh, that cast character is still there. Several of the enemies also make a reappearance, you know, from the franchise.、Um, and I think the clever level design,、uh, which Adrian,、um, who is the level designer and you know creative force behind the game at this point, <clears throat> he's made some absolutely clever levels. But development, there's a lot of challenges, you know, getting this thing to work on the mobile phone. It kind of hard. It's back to the PC industry where you had, you know, hundreds of different configurations, sound card, video card, and all that that you had to test to make sure your game ran on. All in all, I think there's probably about six or—I mean, with Brew and Java, there's probably about five or six hundred handsets. Five or six hundred? Yeah. So I guess we're not going to jump anytime soon.、Huh? We'll see. <laughs> well, one of the big things. That we face in testing is imagine each each cell phone as like its own PS2 or own Xbox, and each one having specific device problems. The test cycles are relatively quick. I mean, the games aren't really that large considering we're dealing with. Back in the early days, it, I knew some techniques that helped me along cramming this in, and knew how to basically take an image, break it up into jigsaw pieces. Pieces and then going. I don't need that piece. I don't need that piece. How can I use that piece? I had a chance to play Bonk Two or you know, like Bonk's Revenge or Bonk's Three. I mean, Bonk was doing some really crazy stuff by like growing triple the size that he was. Similar to how Mario does now in his new DS game, and transformed to like a crab and a bunch of different stuff. But because it was towards the end of the life cycle for the system, not many people have played that game. It may be interesting to be able to pull back some of those mechanics. Yeah, to try and reintroduce. Those features and those things to a, you know, the the next generation of game players that might have skipped this whole era altogether. Well,、uh, how the market reacts to it, yeah, and how the how the sort of press also reacts to it. But what will be very key in telling is sort of what the buzz the ring will create with this game. You know, that that'll be also very key. That's right. And、uh, so go out and buy as many copies of Bonk Mobile as you can, and、uh, that will increase the likelihood of you seeing Bonk on some、uh, 3D platforms in the near future. Cool.